a good morning, late morning, afternoon to all. And again, welcome to another tropical update from uh, Kevin Hurricane Center. Now, folks, again, uh, we are tracking Hurricane Ernesto as it uh, uh, passes through Bermuda very slowly and is moving north northeast uh, in and around the vicinity of Bermuda. As of the latest advisory here, folks, uh, 32.9 north, 64.4 west, about 50 miles now north northeast of Bermuda, 1,125 miles southwest of Cape Race, Newfoundland. Winds are at 80 miles per hour. The uh, movement is to the north northeast. Uh, at 9 miles per hour, pressure 974 millibars. So, folks, um, as we can see here in red, Bermuda is still under a hurricane warning at this time, uh, as the hurricane is still very much in the vicinity of uh, Bermuda. Uh, again, folks, the system is forecasted to uh, continue to move pretty slowly off to the north-northeast here uh, through Sunday. And then, of course, as we get through the uh, middle to latter part of Sunday, a quicker motion towards the uh, northeast expected to occur with this system and eventually a, uh, a slow decline towards uh, weakening. It may re-strengthen a bit here on Monday as barolinic forcing uh, causes the system to um, intensify just a little bit before it uh, weakens out and transitions into a uh, uh, post-tropical or extra-tropical uh, cyclone. Uh, again, folks, uh, the hurricane force winds extend 70 miles from the center with tropical storm force extending 240 miles from the center. Elevated weather station at the National Museum in Bermuda reporting winds of 62 miles per hour with winds gusting to 82. Uh, speaking of uh, impacts here, folks, hurricane force gusts are possible uh, in Bermuda over the next few more hours, with tropical storm conditions likely continuing throughout uh, this evening and tonight. Uh, storm surge against significant coastal flooding uh, is still possible here with this system uh, for Bermuda, especially in the areas of onshore winds and, and near the coast will be receiving uh, some very uh, destructive uh, waves that are fairly large. Again, speaking of, swells generated by Ernesto are affecting Bermuda, Bahamas, the U.S. East Coast, and then will reach Atlantic Canada today. Life-threatening rift currents, uh, conditions, and surf likely in these areas for the next uh, couple of days. Of course, rainfall, uh, rain accumulations of six to nine inches for Bermuda, and rainfall will result in considerable uh, life-threatening flash flooding, especially in areas of uh, low-lying areas. Uh, so, folks, again, uh, closely monitoring the conditions here in uh, Bermuda, closely watching the radar imagery here, we can see uh, the system moving through Bermuda and uh, passing through and over Bermuda and now off to the north and east of the island. But of course, uh, with the system being rather large, the outer side of the um, eye wall uh, starting to move into Bermuda. So conditions starting to deteriorate once again, uh, this time on the south side of that system. Of course, weaker than what, uh, what we would expect on the northeastern side of the uh, system. But as we could see, surface observations in Bermuda still uh, indicating some pretty uh, strong winds uh, going on there uh, in Bermuda. Now, folks, uh, to a uh, very special report from a, a dear friend of mine, uh, Mark Sutter from Hurricane Track, who is on the ground there in Bermuda and uh, here to uh, tell us how conditions are in Bermuda and what uh, his team is there in Bermuda uh, doing. So, Mark, are you there? Mark Sutter here in Bermuda 
on the west end, having endured Hurricane Ernesto in the overnight hours. Wind outside, I probably got 80 to 90 miles per hour. Buildings here, like they are down in the Cayman Islands, are built very well. So you hardly notice it, honestly, especially Category 1. So one of the things we wanted to do, Adam, was to put out several of these Kestrel sensors across Bermuda. We did that yesterday, three of them equidistant apart, uh, logging pressure data every minute. We will go pick up those maybe later today, certainly tomorrow, and then we will chart and graph that data to see what the pressure gradient was. We also put a GoPro camera out. I'll send you a link to that if you want to somehow edit it in or insert it or share it. You're more than welcome to. Uh, the GoPro video was from one of the resorts here uh, where we set it up out where they like launch little boats and people can go diving or snorkeling. You'll see, but it was a great shot and those waves were coming in and I didn't have to be there. Um, it busted in some of the roll down doors. Pretty dramatic video. Um, seen some wildlife out here that's been distressed, a few birds that were displaced, uh, lots of vegetative debris. Found a few golf balls on the golf course that were shaken loose that fell out of trees. Probably those golf balls have been lodged in there for years. Um, and what else can I tell you? Haven't seen much damage overall, but then again, my colleague Mike and myself haven't gone very far. We probably walked about a mile or so around the area waiting for the power crews to get the power back on and maybe we can get out and about later this afternoon. But Adam, it's still very windy outside the backside of Ernesto wrapping around now, starting to affect us more. But luckily the rain is down to next to nothing. So that's really good. All right. So that's what's happening here in Bermuda. Take it easy down there. We'll talk to you soon. Again, thank you very much there, Mark, for uh, letting us know of how conditions are there. Bermuda and uh, just sharing again that video there uh, that uh, that Mark had uh, uh, sent here. Uh, this is again the GoPro uh, images here that uh, uh, again we've seen ourselves here on the channel. We did a test of those uh, very same cameras uh, when our previous system, uh, Debbie was passing through uh, near the Cayman area uh, between Cayman and Cuba. And again, this is uh, pretty much those same boxes there. This is the footage there in uh, Bermuda here of the uh, coastal damage here. And you can see the roll-up doors here to the left that what Mark was showing. But uh, just uh, playing the video here, folks, letting you see uh, the um, footage here. on the volume on this a little bit here folks but uh, as you can see here folks the uh, uh, the waves crashing in uh, on the area here and we can definitely see uh, the um, we can definitely see the roll-up doors here being smashed in here uh, from the waves here and uh, definitely not a good situation for uh, this place here, getting that uh, storm surge rolling in to those areas. Uh, so folks, that is a bit of the conditions there in uh, Bermuda. And um, again, th very thanks, big thanks there to Mark Suddeth uh, from Hurricane Track uh, for letting us know of how conditions are there in uh, Bermuda. Again, thanks very much there, Mark, for that. Uh, folks, that is the update here from uh, Cayman Hurricane Center uh, on uh, our Hurricane Ernesto. Of course, we'll have some uh, further updates later this evening. Cayman Hurricane Center, now for now.